Yes, it's that time of year again, when we all come together in peace and harmony to decorate Jabba the Hutt-themed Christmas trees. For the past couple of years, I've made video advent calendars with a new video every day until Christmas, but I just don't have the time for that this year, unfortunately. But I thought I would share with you some of the things that I've put on my Hutmas tree, as I like to call it. I've been sort of casually collecting these kind of ornaments for a number of years now, but I've never actually decorated an entire tree with them, so I thought I'd give this a try. If you'd like to know more details about these ornaments, I actually made a separate video about them a while back that you can view by clicking the link in the upper right. The Jabba stocking in the intro was made for me by my sister a few years ago. What do you think Jabba would want in his stocking? Tell me in the comments below. So anyway, here it is all decorated. Well, you know what? There's something a little bit missing here, isn't there? Something... Aha! Lights! That's right, we need some lights. Of course, you can buy all sorts of Star Wars-themed Christmas lights, from R2-D2 to Yoda to Stormtroopers and even Chewbacca. But I've never seen a Jabba the Hutt one, unfortunately, so I had to take matters into my own hands. I figured I could use 3D printing to solve this problem. I can print something in translucent plastic and just put it on top of a commercially available light, and boom, I'll have my own. So I decided to take this ceramic Jabba model that I've used for so many things, and just shrink it down, add a hole in the bottom, as you can see. I'm using Tinkercad here, which is a easy-to-use sort of 3D design app. And there I had my model. From there, I just had to export this for 3D printing and put it into my slicer, which is Simplify 3D in this case. And I would, of course, want more than one of these, so I decided to make 12 of them at once. I wasn't actually sure how many I would need, but this seemed like a reasonable amount. I printed these on the Creality CR-10S4 for no particular reason except that it was available. It would really work on just about any of my printers. This is in Maker Geek's Crystal Green, which is a sort of a translucent green color. And as you can see, I made the walls fairly thin. I didn't want them to be too thick to block off the light, and I didn't want any infill to make an obvious pattern. Now, I wanted these originally to be green and red for Christmas, but the red translucent from Maker Geeks actually turns out to be more of a reddish orange. But in some sense, that was a bit of a happy accident because orange and green are, after all, Jabba's colors. So I just decided to go with it. These may look like gumdrops, but they are in fact the result of about, I don't know, 10 hours of 3D printing. You can see that you lose a little bit of the detail when you're printing this small and with translucent filament but you can still tell it's Java, and you can also see that it's got a hole there in the bottom that is just about the right size to insert a commercially available LED Christmas light. There we go, lights it right up. Originally I thought I might try and design some kind of a clip to go on the bottom that would allow you to attach these uh, in a non-permanent way, and maybe even swap out different characters, but I sort of ran out of time, so I decided to turn to the crafter's best friend, the hot glue gun. I decided to use a relatively advanced technique consisting of squirting a bunch of glue in the hole and then shoving the light in the hole. I'll have to admit I didn't know how this was going to turn out with all the glue in there, but in the end, it looks really good, I think, and they seem to be on there pretty stably once the glue dries. So there we have one of the red or orange versions, and finally we have a green version, and I just had to do this about 60 times to cover all the lights in my string of LED lights. I managed to finish them all without burning myself, which I consider to be a minor victory. So how do they look on the tree? Well, let's give it a look. The suspense is killing me. Ah, there we go. Very Christmassy indeed. Let's turn up the lights to get a closer look. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at my hut mystery, and I hope you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. <laughs>